KC24 is your local election headquarters. Five candidates are vying for two Clovis City Council seats. Now, one of them faces a possible criminal charge for allegedly taking his opponent's campaign signs. Our Adrian Thomas introducing us to the final two candidates at the center of this controversy. They, they, they trust what we've done. And trust is important. Incumbent City Council Member Vong Moanatua enjoys broad support from local unions and other local officials. He's running on a platform of experience and helping Clovis businesses through the COVID 19 pandemic. Challenger Herman Nagra says his fresh perspective as a business owner is what Clovis needs right now. As a business owner, I have experience in cost saving strategies, in negotiating contracts and bids. And getting things done. But the campaign for Nagra has been controversial. At the end of January, he was caught on camera taking one of Vong Monotoa's campaign signs. Nagra claims nearby businesses said the sign shouldn't have been there. And I did approach these businesses and I asked them, does this person have permission to put these signs here? And when they said no, I removed them for them. I found out about it when I was actually watching the news. Jeff Davis owns Saddleback Village at Clovis and 3rd Street, the shopping center where Nagra was seen taking Monotoa's sign. Davis says he was never approached by Nagra and did not give Monotoa permission to put his large campaign sign there to begin with. Well, I, I would never put a sign where I did not get any official permission from a landowner. Monotoa says he got permission from Saddleback's property management company. We reached out to that company for comment and didn't hear back. Jeff Davis has since given Vong Monotoa permission to put up campaign signs right on his property where the big sign once stood, but he maintains he was unhappy. He wasn't approached by either candidate in the first place. That I would, really wasn't happy about. My concern is the aesthetics. Uh, tenants sometimes complain, saying it was really, really really bizarre that anybody would come along and steal signs of their candidates, especially in the middle of the night. Adrian Thomas, KC24, Local News That Matters.